Hey, how you doing? Brian Holder here. Brian Holder Graphic Design. I got a real simple, real, uh, real quick tutorial for you. We're going to go through, and what I'm going to do is teach you how to make a simple rollover button, like you see here on my website. Uh, you mouse over at the, the changes, you click on, it, it takes you to a different page. Uh, it's pretty simple to do, and we're going to do that using a shape. So what you're going to do is come down in your WYSIWYG Web Builder. I'm using version eight. Um, I think 8.5.4. Uh, I think uh, I think you can do this with most versions, most of the older versions as well. Uh, grab a shape, drag it out. You should get something like this box here. And we're going to go in and edit the properties of this box. Uh, just double click on it. That's what I do here. You can choose whatever shape you want your button to be. I would recommend, uh, typically for me, I do corporate type design. So I, I would say... Uh, you know, I would use either a box or a rounded, uh, rounded corner box here. Uh, if I go around a corner, I typically, I typically lower the radius down, maybe 10. Uh, keep the opacity the same. Your alternate text, uh, this is the text that appears if the image doesn't load. Uh, it's not really an issue these days with uh, connection speeds. Everybody's got 3G, 4G, or high-speed DSL, something like that. Um, but it's it's good for search engine optimization to have some alt text in there. So if you are linking to a page about red widgets, for say, you, you're going to want to put in red widgets uh, in there. Well, we're going to skip that for now, but just keep that in mind uh, when you go to create your buttons. All right, we're going to change uh, the background. You can choose any kind of background here, solid, gradient image if you have one, uh, glass if you want a glass type button like that. Um, you would just have to choose the color. So let's let's go with that. Um, maybe a dark blue it looks nice. Um, the border, uh, I think for a glass image, I'm gonna I'm gonna skip the border here. We're gonna enable hover mode. So when somebody hovers over it, the the blue changes. We'll just choose a different color blue. And now we're gonna add some text to our button. So go over to the text tab right over here. And I'm just going to change the editor background to a dark blue so that I know kind of what our text is going to look like. And I'm going to change the text color to white. We're going to make the font a little bit bigger. Uh, probably maybe 14 would be good. We're going to say click here. And here's a little tip for you. If you hold down the Alt key and then push 0187, you'll get that symbol. I'm sure you've probably seen that a few times. Okay, hit the uh, any lace text. That's going to keep your text nice and smooth instead of crisp and texty looking. And then we're going to set the alignment. So for a button, you probably want to have it centered in the button and then uh, have it in the middle vertically. And that's it. Add whatever link you need when you're ready to link it. Um, but as far as creating the button, that's it. We're going to hit OK. And all we have left to do is just to size the button. Make whatever size you want. We're going to shrink this down a little bit. And there's a, uh, there's a nice looking button for you. Let's preview this in the browser. Mouse over, the blue changes. And then that's it. You can play around with this a little bit. Let's say maybe you want to try a gradient. I, uh, if I do a gradient, I'll typically go um, orange, orange and yellow gradients because the orange, it just, it just converts very well. Um, so I'll do a dark orange on the bottom, kind of a yellow on the top here. Now, I will use a border with this and I'll usually use my darker color for the border. Hover mode, uh, for this particular one I will probably use this kind of a pumpkin almost color and I'll stick with my darker border for the hover and the text we're gonna, it's white so that's good, okay? And there you have it. There's, I think this is actually the exact same button that's on my on my page there. And that's it. Now you know how to make a button using using just a shape. If you have any questions for me, I can be emailed Brian B R I A N dot holder H O L D E R at Zoho dot com. That's Z O H O. Or you can visit my website. It's uh, B J Holder dot com. And that's it. I hope you have a good one. Thank you for watching.